The standard ship kit for the Sensit PMD includes the instrument, a survey probe, a standard battery pack with charger, a shoulder strap, a standard screwdriver for changing the battery, a set of replaceable filter discs, as well as a replaceable survey probe filter, the instruction manual, and then a choice of case. The standard kit comes with a shipping box with foam. Here we have the compact carrying case, and there's also a deluxe hard carrying case. To install the battery pack, hinge it onto the bottom of the instrument with the front of the pack first, snap it into place. and secure the retaining screws. To power on the instrument, press and hold the A button until the sensor logo appears. The instrument will go through a system check. This instrument is equipped with a GPS module, so we'll acknowledge that we want to leave that on. And there will be a brief warm-up period of about 7 to 10 minutes. After the warm-up, the instrument will auto-zero, and we will be at the working display with the gas reading. For use, we need to check the integrity of the hydrophobic filter. To do that, we can unscrew the filter cap on the front of the instrument. And take a look at the filter. Ensure that it's not damaged or excessively dirty. And screw the filter cap back on. We then need to do a flow block check. We can do that by blocking the inlet with the finger until the instrument shows flow blocked. If we're going to use an attachment such as a survey probe, we'll need to do a flow block check with that attached. So we're going to attach the probe to the instrument and block the intake, ensuring that the instrument shows flow blocked. During use, pressing and releasing the A button will mute an alarm. Pressing and releasing the B button will access the quick menu. From here, if we want to turn on the tick feature, we press and release the B button again. With the C button, change that to on. And exit back to the work display with the A button. And there's now an audible tick. As the instrument comes in contact with methane, the tick rate will increase. We can turn that off by pressing and releasing the A button. Pressing and releasing the C button will save the current data on the screen. And pressing and holding the C button in a clean air environment will auto-zero the instrument. After use, allow the instrument to clear out in a clean air environment. And we can then power down by pressing and holding the A button. And choosing between either standby, which is a low power state, with the C button, or shutting down by pressing and releasing the A button.